away from the new series Fight Night, The Million Dollar Heist, Taraji P. Henson. And actor, producer, and recording artist, Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. Plus, television star and author, Max Greenfield. Also, a new season, a new travel trivia, and a new It is Tuesday, September 3rd, 2024. It is the first day of our 37th season. Oh my God. <laughs> it, feels, it feels very much like our first day of school. It does. The jitters. Yes. I think I had the Sunday. I had the Sunday scaries, but there were the Monday scaries. You had the Sunday scaries. It's the Tuesday scaries. Right. Well, last night I had the Monday Does scaries. Does it feel like 37 seasons for, for you? For me, no. <laughs> Like about a year and a half like for me. It feels a like year a, year, and a, half. a year and a half. Like this is your second official yeah. season. And how many seasons is this for you? What's interesting? What's interesting for me? This is my 900th season, <laughs> and this show no, has really, only been on the 25th, air for 25th, 25th season. 25th for me. season. Isn't that crazy? Oh my god! And our... you're not gonna, you're not gonna get a lot of uh, feedback from these two because it's their <laughs> 2000s. That's right. Art, it's 36 seasons for you? Yeah. 36 and I think 42 for me, yeah. Okay. You were here when it was local? Local, yeah. yeah. Way back when. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, it's good to be back <laughs> with all of you. I missed you. I missed you. You missed you missed, I missed robbing people of the opportunity to stump you. You know, I had breakfast every morning, and I would look at that coffee mug every morning. And I'm like, yeah, just gearing up. Taste, just coffee gearing tastes different. Up. We, had such a, we had such a nice time away. It's a good time to recharge family. We had most of our family with us. Our one yeah. kid, Michael, was working the whole time, so our, he couldn't. Our, yeah, it's uh, it's like really, it's different when, yeah. it, no matter how big your kids get, and I can talk to you guys because you know no matter how old your kids get no matter how big they get no matter how independent they are they're still your kids and when and when you have most of your kids there but one is missing one is still missing one's so still something missing. is so it missing so it felt like we're missing an arm like yeah. our, our right arm it so. felt like something but was it was not really there. really nice and it was it was kind of an um, unorthodox vacation because we had to leave a lot and go do we things were, we were leaving vacation <laughs> a lot to and the, uh, w the one thing that we did that i thought was absolutely amazing is we went to um, Disneyland, and Kelly was presented with her Disney Legend Award. Here's some photos here. Who's that guy next to you? Mickey Mouse. Oh, yeah, that's, that's Mickey that's Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Yes. You got to put your hands in some concrete. <laughs> so you're there You forever. can't believe how bad I was at that. Like, um, I was actually <laughs> remarkably bad at it. I was, I was there watching your speech. I, uh, I, I've got... Teary eyed. I know. Really... I looked away from you when you did. I was like, okay. <laughs> so then I just looked at Angela Bassett the whole time. I was like, you know what I'm going to look at? Angela Wait, Bassett. Wait, what? I, what do you want me to do? Just look I don't know. I just really, I didn't want to be emotional with me. With you. Yeah. So I looked at Angela and she was like, I had like a level three. <laughs> I had the ones where they just kind of like they build up at the bottom, the bottom ring of yes, your but eyes. Yes, your eyes are very big and, they're, and they're very expressive. Expressive. So, so I was so I'm like trying to hold it together for you. He looks like the, you know, the emoji where the eyes are filled with tears. That's what he looked like. <laughs> um, and then Lola came. She was able to come with us, Aww. and I was so special. <laughs> she was so proud of you. Um, the other nominee, the other. Can I just yeah, can I sure. just show? So that dress that Lola's wearing is 30 years old. That's my dress from Aww, 30 years ago. So I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I was, was really like, cool. see, price per wear. It was really. <laughs> 
It was very, it was really really cool to see you. I mean, you and Harrison Ford and uh, James Cameron and Miley Cyrus and Angela Bassett and just to, just to name a few of the of the honorees that night that were also beca that became Disney legends. It's it, really cool. It doesn't seem possible. And I I so Gilman, I brought the award here because I thought maybe and we could put it on the set. Yes. Because I am fully aware that this show and you all. Gelman Art and, and our entire yeah. collaborative that's the reason I got the award I know it's not you know it's it's not for my work on all my children it's not for my, <laughs> I have spent my entire career with the same company which is mm. nice but I know it's because of all of the work we do together and that's the true. audience here that has made our show what it is yeah. so I thought we could like put it here. somewhere You're gonna need a bigger shelf. It's a pretty, it's pretty big. It's pretty we'll big. We'll put it with our singular Emmy, and then um, we'll. You want to, you want to show a few of these? Sure. Yeah, and I'm, gosh, we were, we, the light show that, that was going on between the sunsets and the full moons and the sunrises. We had a where lot we of had like some nice beautiful, atmospheric This is one of my stuff. favorite photos here of my Aww. beautiful wife. Watch, and I look at this sunset. I mean, it's kind of blown out there. That little fella is me. That's yeah. <laughs> we got to watch sunset almost, well, almost, even when it was cloudy, there would be a spectacular sunset. There's like a light show, yeah, a real a light really, show. Then we yeah. got to make out on the beach. Yeah. Your photographer captured that? <laughs> That's, see, I, it was really to catch the full moon behind us there. That was a full moon. Who took that photo? Was that Lola? <laughs> that was Lola. I yeah, think because that was Lola, Lola was very funny. She was like, she's like, face each other. And then Mark gave me a kiss and she's like, ew. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another photo of a beautiful moon over the ocean there. It was just Aww. gorgeous. And me and my girls. Oh. During commercial break, I feel like because you write music, maybe the transition would be easier into writing a novel. But is it hard? Well, it is. It's very hard. Like the outline. Yeah. It's easier for me to get to that part. And then I had to write writers to collaborate with, mm -hmm. like Aaron Clark Phillips on, uh -huh. Philip Clark on this project. He um, is like a great mystery writer. So he was able to put that the intricate parts into the story that make it really feels good. Like, yeah, what made you want to bring this story to life? Well, I. I we talked to different network heads, uh -huh. and I, I know that they would like, are excited about the concept mm. show already. And then so, so it's going to be made oh, into yeah. a oh, television series, show. of That's course, awesome. right? That's great. Yeah, so I already built that. Will into... you star in it? <laughs> no, no, no. No. <laughs> no, no. I won't be a star. Maybe I get to Raji. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. That's, that's actually a great, great idea. idea. She's right back. Proposition. Yeah. I talked to like Regina Hall and uh, Mary J. Blige about the project. Oh, amazing. Oh, amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. that'd be yeah. great. Okay, well, well, thank you for being here. We really appreciate yes. it. And it's out today, right? Yeah. Is it out today? <laughs> the Accomplice is on sale today. Everywhere books are sold. On... Coming up next, Max Greenfield. <laughs> Tomorrow on Live, Tierra Cub. Go show. Welcome back, everybody. He's a talented actor who makes us laugh on The Neighborhood and New Girl. Please welcome back to the show, Max Greenfield. You know, we got to hang out with Max yes. over the summer, not to name drop you in front of you, but it was pretty exciting to have you in our house. There we go. Like to, oh, look at that. Just oh, two yeah. guys. Two There's guys. A couple, of, a couple of dudes hanging out during the summer. Just dudes in the summer. Um, highlight of the summer, by far. Our highlight. We really enjoyed well. it. That I, was a fun day. It was great. It was near it was the end great. of the summer, and you seemed to say, like, you were, you were saying, all right, I'm... You're ready. It You're was ready. near the end. We're still at the end. My son goes back to school tomorrow. What? Okay. And you know, well, it's not so much. Uh, it's it's <laughs> these are the last two weeks, and you say to yourself, "I've got nothing left. There's no more camps. <laughs> There's nothing else going on. Well, I can't entertain you. You're nine years old. You're on your own." When he came to over, me, when he came simply... over, we, I gave him. A, he said, "Do you have a basketball or a hoop?" I go, "I, I do." He go, "You like thank goodness." Yes. I gave him the basketball. He was. He's good. He came back. 
I don't know, an hour later, we hadn't seen Brian. You just ran back drenched, drenched in sweat. sweat. And he was like this, I'm going in the pool. <laughs> he was really funny, too, because he came in and, and, and I was like, oh, hey. And he's like, hey. And you go, no, 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 please be a normal person and say hello. And I was like, he did say hello like a normal person his age. That's how they say hello. But what was so funny, and you referenced it, was that you said it was almost the end of the summer, but it was like 4th of July weekend, and I was like, yeah, aren't we in the beginning of was summer? Was it really? Yes. It just, it feels like, if, I, I feel like with all the holidays and the summer, it feels like the kids go to school for a total of two weeks. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. That is true. And you know, what have we done? What have you learned? How nothing? How have we gotten here? <laughs> well, I mean, if I can, if I can just tag on to that, you've written a new children's book. This is your fourth, and this one is about like putting your kids to bed. Yes, yes. It's a <laughs> bedtime special. story. It's called Good Night Thoughts. I'm so excited to be. Thank you so much for having of course, me. Of course, I'm it's so a great excited idea. about this book. Thank Thank you. Inspired by your late friend Leslie Jordan. Yeah, it's inspired by Leslie, who I love, who many of you guys yeah. knew. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, Leslie, uh, and Leslie would be so upset if he, <laughs> that we're talking about this and he's not here. Right. And he's like, let me talk. You're not good at talking, Max. Go away. Right. And then you'd come on and be like, let me do a cooking segment. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's, it, it, I wrote it, I think, maybe... I don't know, a week after, I started writing it maybe a week after he had passed away. Mm. Oh. Um, and it's inspired by our conversations that we would talk about our fears and try to building a different relationship with our fears and how to put those fears to bed and it's the book that I think that as kids both he and I would have wanted right and have you do you I mean you have a focus group did yes. you test it out I did test it out on on, on my son for sure okay um, <laughs> he read a lot of drafts and at some point he was like can I just I, I read this book enough and right. he goes, now I'm, afra be I'm afraid of you now reading this book to me one more night. <laughs> <laughs> and my daughter, who loves the book, um, but is, you know, he, she's 14, 15 oh, she's years old. Cool. So, well, she's also just like in a perpetual state of annoyance. Yes. Right. I'm like, that's not, you, you, sh the annoy like, no one's annoyed at this book. Right. <laughs> it's a non annoying book. Yeah, this yeah. Is, that's not If the you desire. don't want to be annoyed, please buy this book. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the next one. Yes. That'll be the next Max's one. Max's new book, Good Night Thoughts is out today. Today. We'll be right back. Tracy Smith from Dallas, Georgia says, welcome back. Just wanted to say thank you for talking about lice. My head has been itching ever since. <laughs> same, Trace. Yeah. Same. Carrie Underwood from Ashland, Massachusetts says, I retired this year after 36 years of teaching. At my party, I read the top 10 reasons for my retirement. One of the reasons was kids with lice don't have to go home from school anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn Scabelli from Hanover uh, Mass says, my daughter, now 40, when in kindergarten, hid her locker, hid in her locker because she was afraid to have her head checked. <laughs> uh, Nick, Nancy Payne from Mount Forest, Ontario, many years ago when I used to be the volunteer parent that checked for lice, the teacher asked the class for what their parents did for work. My daughter said, who was around five years old that time, said, probably answered that I was a lice checker. <laughs> lice checker understand when people jump into a pool and tell me to jump on in it's refreshing right away I know I'm but not gonna a, but you're in the minority sweetheart it's, I don't think I, I am think you are I think you are it's so nice when it's hot outside just to get a little bit a little bit of you know I like to jump into a pool that's the same temperature as the air outside. <laughs> that way, when I get outside, I'm not freezing. Yeah. I freeze. I always I feel like when it's warm water that there's stuff growing inside of it. Yeah. That's where my brain goes. I like a little cool, just so that that stuff. That what do you think is growing? Why well, I can we can do a whole we can do a whole algae bacteria uh, bacteria bugs parasites. Am I the only person that enjoys a warm pool? Am I the only one? <laughs> what do you consider warm? Tem what do you consider warm temperature wise? Like ninety. Ninety. <laughs> That's hot. Nine, That's degree hot. Pool? I saw some um, hotels in in really hot parts of the world are throwing in blocks of ice like the size of this table into their pools because the pools are are just too hot. Yeah, I wouldn't go over towards that ice bath. I would stay. <laughs> just slowly yeah. melts. Yeah. Slowly melts. Well, that's what people are doing in their home pools. Yeah. They're throwing in ice. Palm in Palm Springs, there. they have chillers. Chillers. The chillers for this time of year. Really. Or the, or this past summer, yeah. 
No kidding. Yeah, they have chillers just to cool it off just a little bit, like 92, 93 is too warm for a pool. It's called a hot tub. <laughs> yeah. I like a hot tub. Yeah. Did, did I, am I dreaming this, or didn't they have like some sort of um, chemical in the pool now that they would add, so if somebody was peeing in the pool, it's a, blue. That's it turns urban blue. Myth. It's an urban myth it's that we tell the kids so they don't pee in the pool. Yeah. Oh. We yeah. tell that to kids. Yeah. The adults know it's a lie, so he just sits there. I'm sure we could come up with that. That'd be great. It's you. Why Get don't out. we come up with that? Why don't we come up with that? Yeah. The chemical reaction that turns your, and, and better still, stains your swimsuit. <laughs> That'd be better. Um, so two in three Americans shout at their virtual assistants. <laughs> Apparently, you shout at them when they... You get mad. When they don't listen or they say, they I'm sorry, wrong. I didn't understand the question. Right. There's that one hotel that has that system that I just want to open the blinds. Yeah, but they don't, they understand, don't understand the, the word blinds. blinds. <laughs> the shades. So he sits there shouting and he's like, open the shades, open the curtains, open the shears, open the blinds. You never yell, shut up, when they keeps coming back at you and... No, he he doesn't yell. He just yells commands. He yeah. screams commands, well, and then I mm. go over to the wall where there's a button that says curtains, curtains, and I just press it. It's not. It's not that. I, it's not that I'm yelling. It's like when you know when I was a kid and I would listen to my mom talk long distance to Italy, the screaming, because the further the the call was away, they were like pronto, <laughs> you know. They thought that they couldn't yeah, be yeah, they couldn't talk louder. You get talk louder on long distance. <laughs> did, you, did, you ever, did you ever do a long distance phone call? I remember when I was on a kid, when I was a kid, I would listen sometimes. I have to talk to my grandparents, and it sounded like they were in outer space. If I wanted to talk to my grandparents, I just walked into the other room because we, <laughs> we lived with our grandparents, so it yeah. was like yeah. I, I, there was no long distance required. Right. If I called them, that would have been weird because the call would be coming from, from inside, inside the house. The house. <laughs> um, um, artificial risks, real Injuries, um, <laughs> the, v, the the VR things, those yeah. things. That, are people yeah. still wearing those? I yeah, do. Yeah, they're very I popular. love it. You love it. I love uh, it. A lot of ER, um, uh, a lot of emergency rooms are treating more people after falls and mishaps while playing <laughs> virtual. Well, that's why you got to trace your room. You got to trace the room accurately. You Broken bones, um, lacerations. <laughs> And that's just shilly. Yeah. So be careful out there with your VRs. I love VR. I know you do. Oh, my gosh. And what's weird, though, is uh, you and the kids have... Uh, uh, will, uh, if, I, if I'm doing a virtual workout on my VR, they will film me oh, yeah. without me knowing. And what's going on in my mind and in my virtual world versus what I'm looking at are so different, that they're so dichotomous. You know, it's like in the fifth dimension where I am, I am murdering things. You know, I've got my bats and I'm smashing those balloons and I'm, I'm you know, I'm at the top of Machu Picchu and I'm getting all of the, I'm, I'm just like, I've got my thing in my hand. I don't know what it is, if it's a sword or a bat and I'm really like yeah. crushing things. And then what I see is like me barely moving <laughs> and I'm just sort of like, eh, eh. But <laughs> <laughs> I look so weird, but in what I'm seeing is I, I, I'm just like yeah. this hulking Olympic figure. Yeah. But in real reality, I'm like, Flailing. Ding, ding, yeah. Ding. Yeah, yeah. That's it doesn't what, make any sense. But it's really good to watch. <laughs> it's really good to watch. Um, the truth about dad bots. Dad bots. We have any dads out here? I yeah. keep waiting for you to come into your yeah. dad bots. When, when are you going to develop your dad bot, do you think? I don't plan on it. I don't plan on. I plan on on, on uh, trying to stave it off. But it's natural. They said it's it's um, uh, you know it's nature helped make it happen. The evolution of the dad bod. Um, 
It's due to a decrease in testosterone. Yeah. Yeah. We start crying. <laughs> <laughs> we lose hair, like, you know, on our eyebrows. Is that what's yeah, happening? Yeah, you start You're losing hair. hair on your you get hair other places, like on my ears. Like I've never. Seen. I've never seen any hair in your ears. Because I, I can. One time I, I was. It was really windy, and I felt something hitting me in the ear. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? What is that? And it was like a long. It was the longest hair. Really? Yeah. Uh, but there's ways to stave it off. There are ways. Uh, total body exercise. Get out there and exercise. Uh, working all the major muscles in the body. You do that. Yep. Uh, Cardiovascular training, very, very important. And nutrition, um, you, can, you can definitely have a good diet to try to stave off the dad bod. Let me tell you something. You wanna know something really irritating? When I was pregnant, Mark decided he was going to join a, a gym and hire a trainer. And the more pregnant I got, the fitter he got. <laughs> Because I had heard about all of these sympathetic, empathetic husbands that also get pregnant with their wives. And that the wives gain a bunch of weight, which I did, and that the husbands gain it along with them, and then they have fun taking it off together. He turned into Hercules. <laughs> Because you did it for both of us, babe. <laughs> you gained the weight for I both gained, of us. I, I gained the weight for six people. Yes. I remember because I had gained 68 pounds when I was pregnant with Michael. Right. And you brought in that article. I had just given birth. I was in the hospital and there was like a... I think it was the Daily News had a cover story on it. And this woman had gained 70 pounds. And he's like, look. He's like cover of the Daily News. You shouldn't feel bad. She gained 70 pounds. Mark missed the headline, which was, she had seven babies. In <laughs> they were small babies. Yeah. They were small babies. Seven people in there. I just had the one. He was a big kid. He was big. He was I big. will hand it to him. But still... It was this thing where he was like, look, you shouldn't feel bad. And I go, did you, did you read the part about her having seven children? Uh, I love that story. But he brought it in with his, like, you know, you know, his rippling muscles and his, you know, he just came from the gym. Yeah. Gotta, gotta stay fit in case something happens. <laughs> on today's yes. show. Yes. Steve Patterson hits the streets and lists unsuspecting tourists to help recreate famous New York City movie scenes. Ah, oh, Steve. Steve loves it. We also have our performance by husband and wife duo, The War and Treaty. Love them. They're great. They're fantastic. All right, everybody. Get ready. The moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to play. All right, let's say hello to Faye Delavo from Houston, Texas, who watches the show on KTRK. Good morning, Faye. How are you? Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Callie. Good morning, Faye. How is it in How is it in Houston? Is it hot? In future, yes, it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, listen, you know how this game works. You've given us two statements. One is true. One is false. I have 60 seconds to decide which is the truth. And if you stump me, you'll win this. Oh! And that. <laughs> Here are Faye's statements. I married someone I met on vacation. Good for you, Faye. Oh, my gosh. Or I've been to Mexico seven times. All right, well, you're in Houston. You're not too far away. Um, where do you go in Mexico, typically? I usually go to Cozumel. Cozumel. Mm. Oh, okay. Do you go to the same place every time, or do you switch it up? Yeah, I usually go to the same place. Okay, great. And what do you do there in Cozumel? Do you sip margaritas? All the time, yes. All the time. All right. So when you're when you're in Cozumel or when you go on vacation, you said you met someone and you and you you married this person. 
Yes, I'm married. We dated for three years and then we got married. Ah. Ah, okay. And did you, where, where did you meet this, where, where, where were you on vacation? The Bahamas. The Bahamas? Nassau, Bahamas. Okay. okay, and what's his name? His name is Alfred. Okay. Um, all right, was it love at first sight? Yes, I think so. <laughs> was, was he from the Bahamas? Yes, he's from the Bahamas. Okay. All right. I like both of these statements. I know, I like both of these statements. Uh, okay, I'm gonna say you married someone you met on vacation. Mark. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that is true. Ah! <laughs> Starting September in a good way. Listen, I, I like that, Faye. You didn't win the mug or t-shirt. I am sorry. But you still have a chance to win a valuable trip. It's time for some Sanctuary Travel Trivia. from Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin. Yeah. Yeah. New York City! That's incredible. You're an amazing dancer. Thank you. Really enjoyed that. Just vibing. Faye, <laughs> let me tell you something. If you were here, you'd be marrying uh, our trivia dancer. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. I'm telling you. You have no idea what you missed. <laughs> anyway, Deja, spin that wheel and see if we can't win a uh, Faye a prize. All right. Okay, you're playing for a trip for two to the veranda mm. in Antigua. Oh, Seven days and six nights in a waterfront suite. It's all inclusive. It's a prize valued at eight thousand dollars. You have twenty seconds and only one guess. Good luck, Faye. All right, Faye. Thank we've, you. We've had Ryan Reynolds on the show. What did Ryan say he did when he was twelve years old that all his brothers did as well? Ryan Reynolds, what did he do? I wrote that down. He did it, and all his brothers did it as well. Five seconds. Four. I know he... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. He got an earring. Oh, and I just watched that show. I don't know. I missed it. Oh, Faye. Sorry, Faye. But listen, there's sorry. still uh -huh. exciting news. You'll now be in our grand prize drawing for a Caribbean vacation. Hello, this is Vachan Khushundu Drawing. I am going to talk about the video. I am going to talk about the video. I am going to talk about the video. I am going to talk about the video.